am getting cheesy using one of my favorite ingredients, cheese, in everything I'm making. I started things off with a spinach and ricotta ravioli with a sage and mint butter. Oh, that was good. And then, to lighten things up a little bit, my endive and radicchio salad with oka cheese and an apricot vinaigrette. And, well, you know, I'm going to be making my honeyed ricotta with marsala glazed strawberries in a little bit. But now it's time to use the cheddar, cheddar beer soup. And this is one of those great soup recipes where you can get it on the stove and have it at the table, seriously, in 20 minutes. It is that easy. I'll add a couple tablespoons of butter. And after that melts, I'll add some finely diced onion and a little bit of finely diced red bell pepper. All right, and in go the peppers and the onion. And I'll give that a stir. And the key here is to cook the onions until they're translucent. This takes about mm, five minutes over a moderate heat. Grab my flour. This is a flour thickened soup. I'm essentially making a roux. The combination of the butter and the flour together, and I do like to sift it. I sift it right into the pot, a third of a cup. I can't add the liquid right away. have to give the flour a few minutes to coat all the onions and the peppers, but as well cook out so that it can actually thicken the liquid. I'll turn it down just a touch more and go get the liquids that are at the base for the soup. Some milk and some chicken stock. First, I'll measure two cups of milk. I'll start with a whisk, but I can switch pretty quickly back to the spoon. And first I add a little at a time to loosen up the flour. And now that I've added the liquid, I can turn up the heat. Now I can switch back to the spoon. There. And as well, two cups of chicken stock. Actually, this recipe makes a great cheese sauce, but what I do is skip the chicken stock and you end up with a big batch, mind you, but a great cheese sauce. Give this a cover. Can't forget the cheese. Cheese and beer, cheddar cheese particularly, make a great combination. So I actually put a little bit of beer in the soup 12 ounces, so a standard bottle. And there's two other ingredients I still need to add. A little bit of garlic. Finely grated, so it cooks into the soup. And a teaspoon of mustard powder. Gives a nice little zip to the soup as well. And speaking of zip, if you like it, a little pinch of cayenne pepper is rather nice. There we go. But I might as well get the cheese ready. This is three quarters of a pound of cheddar cheese. So this is definitely soup to feed a crowd. The soup is up to a full simmer. So now that it's stopped, I'll start by adding a little. Okay, in my world, that's a little. A little more. A little pepper. I'll taste it first before I add salt, just because the cheese might have just enough salt in it. <laughs> that does not need a thing. Sprinkle the cheese on top. ricotta with marsala glazed strawberries, but first I need to be alone with the soup. 